Hi there, saints of God. This is Sarah B. I just wanted to make a quick message about spiritual attacks. I'm sure that some of you have already noticed that they're increasing, and um, I sure have. So I wanted to um, just kind of encourage you a little bit and just also give a heads up for this. Um, you know, as, as you walk, as you're walking as a Christian, it's just something that we have to deal with, especially in the times that we're living in. It's just getting so dark. The, the gross darkness is descending. And I'm telling you, if we could look into the spirit realm and see what's going on, we would probably be totally freaked out. But anyway, thank God the Lord does shield us from that, and we've got the full armor of God to protect us from it. So praise the Lord. So one of the ways that the enemy is attacking <clears throat> is in our sleep. And this happened to me recently where I was I went into like sleep paralysis. I couldn't move. And I felt like this demonic evil presence pressing down on me. And it was almost like I was pressed into the mattress and into my pillow. <clears throat> like I, um, you know, like I'm literally like being pressed down into the mattress. I, I remember seeing that on uh, a clip of a movie that that happened on, like some horror movie. And, and that's what it was like. It was like I was pressed into the pillow, into the mattress, and this, this demonic entity was pressing down on me. And I was completely paralyzed. I could not move, but I could... You know, my I had my thoughts, my my brain, <laughs> my brain was working, and I was able to say silently and communicate with it silently. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus, and immediately it left, and I woke up. So it was definitely something that was happening in the spirit realm. Uh, in my sleep, but yet I was also aware of what was going on. So this kind of thing is, seems to be happening more and more. I've seen other people reporting on this kind of thing. Now, uh, back in 2011, the Lord gave me a word, and He said, They will come. And I understood that to mean that that was speaking about the Nephilim. Now, the Nephilim... In my understanding, I'm not an expert on this, I believe the Nephilim are the disembodied spirits of the giants who were the children of the sons of God and the daughters of women, the fallen angels who had uh, procreated with women. And so that that is my understanding of who these things are, these, these demonic entities are in fact disembodied spirits of the giants. Now, I could be wrong on that. I'm just telling you my understanding currently. So evidently, they're able to attack us. So, we, you know, we've really got to be girded up in this hour with full armor of God and don't have any open doors to the enemy. The other thing I've noticed as far as spiritual attacks is the angry watchmen are attacking. I've seen this quite a bit on YouTube. They're not doing this in, in the biblical pattern that is established by Jesus and also the Apostle Paul. And I'll put some scriptures in the description box so you know what I'm talking about. In a dream, the Lord showed me a German Shepherd dog jumped up on a table. I was in a dining room with a whole bunch of Christians and we were all eating together. That that kind of signifies, you know, learning and teaching and and um, being fed the things of God. And this German shepherd jumped up on the table and tried to take the food off the table. And I yelled at it to get out of the way and to drop the food. And it dropped the food and ran off. Well, the you know the German shepherd is a guardian. That's uh, you know a watchman. So this you know the watchmen are. Because, you know, some of them are becoming the angry watchmen. They're not, they're not doing things according to God's pattern. So, you know, if you're watching this and if you've done that kind of thing and you're a watchman, 
you know, please repent of that and stop that and do it according to God's pattern. And, um, you know, the, the true watchmen operate in a spirit of love. You know, they have a um, fruit of the spirit that is obvious, including love. Jesus says, you'll know my disciples because they love each other. There's a love for each other. And a lot of these angry watchmen, I would just say, unsubscribe from them. Don't listen to them. If they're not doing things according to the biblical pattern for dealing with error, then stop listening to them. So um, the other thing I wanted to mention is, uh, is about the full armor of God. Put on the full armor of God and gird yourself up in this hour with the word and um, I would read Ephesians chapter 6. I'll put that also in the description box. Really understand what the full armor is. Part of the full armor is love. You know, if we have not love, we have all the knowledge in the world, then, then you know, we have nothing. So in this hour, we've got to keep our eyes on Jesus Christ. Stay in the Word. Stay in prayer. Be seeking Him and communing with Him and having intimacy with the Father through Jesus Christ. And also, just keep your, keep your eyes uh, focused on the fact that Jesus is coming soon. He's coming very, very soon. I think sooner than most people realize. And we see that in Scripture when we when we look at all the scriptures where Jesus comes as a thief, that means he comes when people aren't expecting him. And a lot of people are going to be completely shocked when that happens. So praise God. I love you all. And stand strong in the full armor in this evil day. God bless.